But new at noon, no charges will be filed against Kern High School trustee Ken Mettler or the man he was accused of taking a swing at, Robert James Badowitz. Today, the district attorney's office declined to issue any criminal complaints against both. This after controversy surrounding a scuffle between the two during a Prop 8 rally. The incident was caught on tape, but Mettler says he was simply defending himself. The DA's office says they can't verify either side of the story, so battery against them cannot be proved beyond a reasonable doubt. A local group called Peace Bakersfield was trying to collect enough signatures to oust Mettler from a seat on the Kern High School District Board of Trustees and an information just into the eyewitness newsroom. We are told that a protest is expected to take place in front of the district attorney's office at 5 o'clock. This, of course, to what we just mentioned in response to the district attorney's decision to not file charges against Ken Mettler uh, for that attack. Uh, on regarding the Prop 8 rally. We'll, of course, have more information coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. No charges will be filed against Ken, uh, Kern High School trustee Ken Mettler or the man he was accused of taking a swing at, Robert James Badowitz. Eyewitness News reporter Amity Adrisi is joining us live now from outside the district attorney's office with more. Amity. That's right, Lisa. Today, the district attorney made their announcement that they have declined to file charges against either Ken Mettler or Robert Betowitz. Now, in response, these protesters you see behind me have gathered here in front of the district attorney's office asking that the investigation be reviewed by an outside source. They're also asking that the conduct of the Bakersfield Police Department and the DA's office be investigated. Now, this all stems from controversy surrounding a scuffle between the two during a Prop 8 rally. The incident was caught on tape, but Mettler says he was defending himself himself. District Attorney Ed Jagel says they cannot verify either side of the story, saying battery against Betawitz cannot be proved beyond a reasonable doubt. A local group called Peace Bakersfield is trying to collect enough signatures to oust Mettler from his seat in the Kern High School District Board of Trustees. Now, I tried to reach Mettler today and ask him if he had any response to this decision, and I have not heard back so far. He did tell me in the past that as soon as the district attorney made a decision, he would comment on the issue. I'm Amity Adrisi reporting live from Central Bakersfield. Lisa, back to you. Amity, thank you for the update tonight. Charges will not be fired against Kern High School trustee uh, Ken Mettler or the man he was accused of taking a swing at, Robert James Betowitz. This all stems from controversy surrounding a scuffle between the two during a Prop 8 rally. The incident was caught on tape, but Mettler says he was simply defending himself. District Attorney Ed Jagel says he can't verify either side of the story, saying battery against Betowitz cannot be proved beyond a reasonable doubt. In response to the DA's decision, the protesters gathered in front of the district attorney's office tonight saying that the conduct of the Bakersfield Police Department and the DA's office should be investigated. During the protest, Robert Betowitz told us how he felt about the decision. Uh, I'm really quite angry at the whole town, the Baker Bake. It's just, it seems like a good old boy network and that nothing's getting done around here because it's kind of, it seems to be covered up. We put a call in to Mettler for comment on the DA's decision, but have not heard back. He had said he was waiting to talk about the issue until after the DA made a decision. The DA has declined a criminal complaint against Hearn High School trustee Ken Mettler after a fight at a Prop 8 protest on October 24th. Now, this is video of the confrontation that night at Stockdale in California. Witnesses say Mettler crossed to the no on 8 side of the protest over a confrontation on altered yes on 8 signs. Demonstrator Robert Badowitz claims Mettler assaulted him in that confrontation. This morning, DA Ed Jagel's office announced they are declining the criminal complaint against both men, stating, I Eyewitness statements of the incident, quote, very wildly with regard to what occurred. Therefore, the DA's office says they can't prove battery against either person. The district attorney has declined a criminal complaint against Kern High School District Trustee Ken Mettler after a fight at a Prop 8 protest last month. Witnesses say Mettler crossed to the no on 8 side of the protest over a confrontation on altered yes on 8 signs. Demonstrator Robert Betowitz claims that Mettler assaulted him during that confrontation. This morning, DA Ed Jagels announced that they are declining a criminal complaint against both men, stating eyewitness statements of the incident are, quote, very wildly, uh, very wildly with regard to what occurred. Therefore, the DA's office says they can't prove battery against either person. No criminal charges will be filed against high school trustee Ken Mettler or the man he punched during a Proposition 8 rally. Rob Badowitz was part of an anti-Proposition 8 demonstration on the corner of Stockdale Highway and California Avenue back on October 24th. 
Mettler was part of a large group which held a pro Proposition 8 rally on an opposite corner. At one point, Mettler noticed several no on eight people holding yes on eight signs that had been altered. The yes in the yes on eight signs have been painted over and replaced with the word no. That's when this altercation that you can see right here on tape began. But according to District Attorney Ed Jagels, statements from the various witnesses vary wildly with regard to what occurred that night. However, it seems clear that Mr. Mettler struck Mr. Badowitz. Apparently after Mr. Badowitz had ripped some political signs out of Mr. Mettler's hands. But Badowitz told police Mettler punched him without provocation. Mettler said Badowitz attacked him first. Neither man was injured in this incident.